your eyes open. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Let's go speak with Langston right now. I feel really bad for Philip and for taking so long. Uh, right, they're at the very entrance, aren't they? It would be faster just to float down. Told Salvador of soldiers, but no. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. <laughs> that was a beautiful line. <laughs> Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. I'll see you later, Langston. 
I'll be here, like always. I'm coming, Philip. Oh, whoa. I guess since it already had loaded the uh, area, it just transported me literally instantly. No loading screen at all. Ah. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The bridge is doing something! Philip? Shit. Philip? Oh my god, fuck. It hurts me. This is different. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? Oh my god. unfortunate I guess I technically did it I contained it before I died god I hope there wasn't something to loot there fuck I did contain it right yeah I'm so sorry Philip seems fixed did fighting that thing off change something Employee incident. Incident in question occurred on and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Recommendation. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. God, what was that thing? That was such a cool fight. It was like the astral plane, but a different place. It wasn't all white in the background. It was more evil. Yeah, instant transportation. Nice. The sudden stop hits theaters tonight. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. D-1 
Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The Hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. So we got quests for more altered items? Yeah. Where are they? Containment sealed threshold hall. Cleanse and contain the moving letters. I noticed moving letters in the dead letters in executive. I didn't know that was an altered item. Dangerous, but no. Why listen to Langston? Just okay, so there's a traffic light somewhere in the Panopticon. Let's go find it. I was looking around in the Panopticon for where we've seen a traffic light, not remembering it, and then I realized, wait a minute. We haven't, like, there's a lot of floors above us. It goes all the way up to floor eight. We haven't been up there. We can't get there with the elevator, but we certainly can get there with Levitate. So, yeah, probably up there. Not quite high enough. That should do it. Nope. Gotta blow off the railing. I remember seeing the swan. Have we not been? Like, I thought we hadn't gone this high. Maybe we've been... I don't know. <laughs> Let's just keep exploring. Oh yeah, okay, we, we have been here. Balloons, the get well balloons. That. So... How did we get here and where have we not been? We certainly haven't been to at least the like two highest levels. Right, that's where our brother was. I don't suppose. No, 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 no. There's no point in going in there. We had to levitate when we went there. So I haven't been above six. Or no, this is level five. Just confusingly, it's P6 cell. Anyway, uh, level 6 we have not actually been to before. Huh. The railings aren't breaking? Why aren't the railings breaking? That, that's really weird. Does that mean you're not supposed to go up there? No way, because it's so easy to get up there. Oh, is there an invisible wall? I think there might be. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. Dang it. No, there is a point coming into where our brother was. Because we couldn't get into this before. This area... on the fourth floor... We haven't been here, because there's two of these immediately. And there's also more sections over there. I'm guessing this might be where the traffic light is. Whoa. What the fuck was that? <laughs> P 
Pram Supplement. Interview with conducted with the aid of a French translator on November 17th, 2009 in a retirement home in something France. Uh, A asks, where were you on August 2nd, 1979, Mr. God, I don't know how to pronounce their name. Uh, So specific a date, laughter, as if I could ever forget. I was called to a fire at the Rue something. What did you see? Smoke, white, like a new pope, rising up from the windows of a small shop. I sent my men in. I was fire chief back then. What happened next? We pulled the shop owner out. He was already dead. Smoke in his lungs. We found the source afterwards. A baby's walker. Poured water onto it, but that only encouraged the smoke. We pulled the carriage outside. Smoke kept shooting out. A crowd gathered. People said it was a miracle, but I disagreed. It seemed to me more like more of an omen. It brought the strange thing back to the fire hall. Some Americans, like yourself, came later and took it away. What is, what is that for? Is that where the thing is? Oh no, this just links it up with the rest, doesn't it? Now we're back to the section we've been to, I think? Yes. Ooh, hidden location discovered. Okay. That was a hidden location. Oh, I thought it, I assumed it connected over there. That's why I always ignored it, but it doesn't. Perhaps this is where the thing is. To know where fiction ends and reality begins. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> it's the voice of Alan Wake. Trap, my every thought made real. Typewritten page procedures. No unique procedures required. A standard letter-sized typewritten page with minor water damage. The page is full of text, but apart from the top seven lines, all the rest has been violently scratched out. Only a few individual words and phrases can be made out. The page emits a dim glow in the dark, and when the text is read, there's a feeling of dislocation, as if witnessing the page being written as you read it, and as if reality around you was being to match the words on the page. This feeling is made stronger if the text is... Forensic and linguistic analysis confirms that the text has been written by Alan Wake with the same typewriter as the earlier materials discovered in Bright Falls in 2010. I love that they really are strongly tying the whole Alan Wake everything into this universe. Not just as a joke, but like seriously tying it in. <laughs> There's another reference to Alan Wake. No traffic light, though. I cannot find that traffic light. Was it in the archives and I missed it? I guess I should go there and check. That's the only place I didn't check seriously because I figured I would have remembered it given that I was just there. However, I was heading heading out across the Panopticon entrance. I forgot what you call this place. And I noticed that. You know what I've thought about a lot? It's how I think I can float to one of these. Would the game let me and would anything happen is the big question. I don't know. 
Like that one I couldn't get to. But like that one? I don't know. It's really far away, but I could float. Hmm. It's not something I'm going to do here. There's other crossings I've made where there's better opportunities to float to, but I do wonder. Oh, hey, hang on. I never went here. It's not even on the map, actually. It's close to the stairs on the map, but it's not there. Uh, yeah, accessible from the ground floor. So maybe it is in the archives. How am I doing on mods, by the way? I've collected a lot. Launch energy cost minus 20%. Not better than the one I've got. Ooh. Health recovery per element pickup, 41%. 3% better than the one I've currently got. Anything great for this? Headshot. No one cares. Rate of fire. Nah. Okay. Something's wrong with this one. I swear I just saw it move and make a weird noise. I think that's a mimic. Sorry, I just feel like I really need to do this. I'm so close to running out of room. Like that. That's not normal. Dear God. Still wasn't the traffic light. Ooh, I never found this before. Also in the archives. Book Club Philip. Oh, Philip! Philip, I'm so sorry. Unless you. Hooked me right away. It began with visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but just a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives felt out of control as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. And I love the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? 
But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. Yeah, I don't know where the hell that damn traffic light is. I'm going to go to somewhere I'm absolutely sure of where the thing is. The dead letters, the moving letters. That's no normal piece of paper. So cool. You gotta hold it down for a long time. Will it stay here if I stay here? Or is it specifically avoiding me? Because it also moves on its own. I need to find the other pages. Looks like there's two more. So they glow red. Shouldn't be that hard to find, then. Probably higher up. Oh, there's one. We just get a new document? Letters procedures. Containment procedure. Black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. 
The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than and always in a direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be imposs an impossibility by... A proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. The item was found in the dead letter archives where the where the head archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. <laughs> she reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. Oh, refrigerator's also new. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 60s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by... The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the beer's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in an apartment rented by a man named... It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, retained ownership of the item until 1974 when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Found the traffic light. I didn't find it on my own, though. I got so fed up trying to find the damn thing, I googled it, and it turns out it's just on the fourth floor and at one end of the main bridge. It's in here. I don't know how I missed this. I must have saw this open and thought it was a different door than it actually was or something. Anyway, ha! Ah. Oh, the guide said that you have to go when it's green or it'll put you back to the beginning. Let's try it, just... That must be one of the missing altered items. Just for the fun of it. Wait, how did I get back here? Oops. What is this thing's deal? item to worry about. The object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. A traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, and green. A popular children's game is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effects. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of... from the item. Note, theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe has been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after a streetlight at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained, and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. Let's finish out the episode by doing some upgrades. So now that we have an untapped potential, we can upgrade the charge. Are there any board countermeasures we want? Because I haven't... Like, yeah, this one. Kill his cards in the executive sector using spin. That is never going to happen. Using pierce kill enemies in the maintenance sector with headshots. Oh, that'll happen, I guess. Kill enemies with the surface weapon in charge mode. That'll definitely happen. Melee, forget that. So now we can add an extra mod to this. 
Headshot. Ammo cost while levitating. They all kind of suck. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I guess headshot damage? Like I'm ever going to hit them in the head with a grenade launcher? And then where do I want to spend this? Like it's always a good thing to get more energy and health, of course. And I could get both actually, max out both. Ground slam. It's not something I use that often. It's more fun than it is like super effective. Levitation duration would be nice. Not a massive benefit though. Kind of interested in the shield thing. But uh, for now, let's max out these. Leaves me with one point. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return... Well, for Langston's Runaways, we have two that are in the containment sector. Medical Wing and Sealed Threshold Hall, and we need to go back to the containment sector anyway to see if there's anything we've missed now that we can levitate and stuff.